when did the power of positive thinking ever get anyone anywhere? Miss Thornhill decided she was going to give this to me. Clearly, she needs help. Enid has also convinced me to do ASMR for my extra credit. So begrudgingly, I'm doing this. If you end up watching this, I'm not sorry for the torture. I can't even believe I'm touching this. By the way, I don't even care what your name is, so don't bother telling me. And yes, most of the rumors that you've heard about me are true, and I'm proud of that. They say that he lost a testicle. I told them, put some peroxide on it. It'll heal. I could have executed better, faster, quicker. Could have done more damage. I failed. The sound of this almost reminds me of the time that my neighbor's cat drowned. It sounded wonderful. This perhaps is leaking. It's definitely leaking. Enid seems to think that I need to be cheered up. So she gave me this disgusting, absolutely disgusting, horribly ugly keychain. sound of this is absolutely wretched. The thing I do like about it, and I don't like much, it does remind me of the sound of fire for my sound. There's also something that I need to speak with you about. The monster in the woods is real. Most people think I'm crazy, but I did see it, and I do have a lead. Would you like to know who it is? Who I think, anyway. Fine, I'll tell you. After what happened in the woods, I made this elixir. I don't know if you can hear that. I think not. I think that the monster is Savior. And also, had a vision. Of Goody. Goody Adams. She's my ancestor here. If I would have never came to the school, I would have never found out. I also stumbled upon Xavier's drawings in the woods. He's seen the monster. 
if I see the monster again and it tries to come at me, we all know what this could be used for. And it doubles as a comb. I went inside Xavier's shed. Art studio, whatever you want to call it. The drawings of the hide were all over the place. He's seen them. And he had a creepy drawing of me playing the cello. Which I'm really good at. Of course, I haven't brought up the fact that I also think that Xavier likes me, which is absolutely repulsive. Raven dance is coming up. I think I might ask Xavier to go in order to get closer to him to see if I can trigger him to become the hide. I haven't quite figured out yet how it's possible. How they change, I'm not sure. But I will figure. So, Thing has been very helpful, though my parents sent him to spy on me and to send back information, if you will. I have been journaling. Journaling has served me well. There's definitely no positive thinking in it. I'm not quite sure, but I obviously know they think that there's something wrong with me here. But Principal Weems has placed me in the same room as Enid. She is disgustingly colorful and horribly optimistic. It's terrible. The one thing I do like about being here at Nevermore is the fact that I'm not around normies. I can delight in taking class with a vampire, a siren, It's a little less boring than being at Normie School. Dear Pugsley, I hope he's being tortured every day. It's good for him. something fishy about Principal Weems as well. Every time I'm onto something, she seems to be trying to cover it up. I can't quite figure out why yet, but I will. The sheriff has finally started listening to me about my ideas about the hide. didn't need that page.
They say that tearing paper is like therapy. Not for me, though. Enid is a werewolf. Apparently she hasn't been able to wolf out yet. So, being a naturalist as I am, I did get her some organic deodorant. She smells. never knew I would meet a werewolf, but she is kind. It's disgusting. She also talks way too much. If she and I were not at Nevermore and she talked that much, she may not have her tongue. And even that would be generous. So I have a secret for you, and I need you to keep it. When Enid told me that I should do ASMR as a project, I stole a siren's cup. She was looking for it, and I did not tell her that I took it. Technically, it wasn't me. It was Thing. So, my hands are clean. His hand? No. But they don't need to know that. Scales and rainbow. Two of the most disgusting things on this planet. As you can see, a 
it makes horrible sounds. Perfect for this horrible, torturous project. Normally, torture is something that I like. Only when it's the right kind of torture. So, what do you think about me asking Xavier to the dance? I don't care what you think. I really don't want to know. It was just something to say. Speaking of the dance, it was something that my parents once went to when they went to Nevermore. There, I can't even think of a word bad enough to describe my mother and my father. I am nothing like her, and they are despicable when it comes to their public display. Even when it's just me around. And Thing. And Lurch. Poor Lurch. Being tortured to seeing that every day. Pugsley. It's good for him, though. Builds character. The torture part. Not, not the beating. They will be coming to visit Nevermore very soon, and I happen to create a concoction in our herbal class. This concoction, I will. Squeeze into my mother's drink. This will make her a little less affectionate towards my father. They will be a little more bearable during parents' weekend. Enid's parents are coming as well. Her mother is repulsive. What do you think? It's beautiful, isn't it? I think it will work just perfect. Maybe I can let Enid borrow it as well. Back to the hide. I'm really thinking that it's Xavier. Time will tell. He's always so elusive. He doesn't speak much. He draws a lot. And he always gets so awkward around me, which is part of the reason why I think he knows I'm onto him. I'll be getting my proof. Once I finish this project, I'll be very happy that it's over. Happy is not the right term. Hmm. 
This smells like the woods. If you like the woods. How are you liking this so far? The truth is, I hope you hate it. I hope it makes you want to vomit. Slugs. I hope that you absolutely despise what you're seeing and that it's torturous as it is for me to make it. I don't want to be making this video, but like I said, Enid talked me into it, and I need to pass my class in order to stay at Nevermore in order to figure out this entire thing about the hide, and why Goody keeps visiting me, giving me hints. That's the only reason I'm doing this video. Something tells me you are not very transparent with your feelings. Am I right? Good thing I don't care. The more you suffer, the better, in my opinion. It'll make you stronger. It'll make you more able to deal with the things that will come at you in life. So, the more you go through, the better off you are. If you're sad, I don't care. Being sad is weak. It is better to have no emotion at all. You like this video. I'll be very upset. If you leave a comment on this video, it will probably make me vomit to read it. But for my extra credit project, I must complete this video and I must read your comments. Please don't leave a comment. If you do, I will have to read it. I will be forced to read it. Do you understand? I will be forced to read what you think, which I do not care about. Another thing that will pain me is to leave a heart on your comment. Why couldn't they have it be a rat or chains? Speaking of chains, Enid gave me her purse. She said it would be great to use. The one thing that I do like about this like is a strong word, but this does have a chain on it, which
which reminds me how I do love to chain things up. This is the one decent item that Enid gave me. Perhaps a ghost haunting Nevermore, stuck in the chains of the past. I have one more thing to show you. It is the box that my candle came in. The candle that smells like the woods. to end this video so now I can end this torture for us both remember what I said Principal Weems is expecting to see some comments on this video perhaps some likes if you leave a comment I'll be forced to read it and forced to respond. So if you do, I guess I'll see you there. I would say thanks for watching, but I'm not thankful for anything. I guess I'll see you in my comments, and don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, I'll send thing to send you a visit.